Shalom, 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 shalom. Before we even get started, first and foremost, want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakatash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word and this truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm coming with a quick, quick video here. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, just a minute and three seconds. You know, just showing you uh, what's going on, you know what I'm saying, in France, all right? Where you have the French police clash with the pension um, protesters at the dark, man. And, and what we're seeing, what's taking place going on with the uproars of the people, especially what's going on with the, you know what I'm saying, with these damn banks. And, 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 and like I said, man, you know what I'm saying? What's going on in France, man? That's, that's coming to America, man, very soon, man. All right? It's, it's going to be a world worldwide thing that, that, that that's going to be happening. You know what I'm saying? It's coming very, very shortly, man. It's called Jacob's Trouble, man. All right? It's called your government pretty much letting you know, man. It's about to be a one world order, man. You know? <laughs> letting you know your, your rights as you know it. You know what I'm saying? Your, well, your constitutional rights as you know it or whatnot about to be taken away uh, right before your your very eyes at the end of the day, man. And with that, you're going to have people that going to buck up. You're going to have more, more, in, in, you know, inflation, which is going to turn into hyperinflation. It's going to be more famines out here, man. going to be more plagues. It's going to be more loss of jobs out here. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day or whatnot, it's going to be a lot of more uncertainty, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lot of more confusion, man. And how about your mouth? Shout about to be bringing that, man. All right, you know? And, and look, Jake, like I say, been in the house of... Uh, uh, mirth, man. You be in the house of mirth, man. You know what I'm saying. You know, having you a good old time. You know, you're not paying attention to Bible prophecy. What's taking place, man? You're not paying attention that Yahweh Shah, he's right there around the corner, man, about to make his return. Because what we're speaking on, events that we're seeing, are, are, are prophesied on, man. These one of the end time prophecies of things that we're seeing when it when it comes to uproars of the people, man. You know what I'm saying. You know when the people start going up against their government, when they're not having no respect. Regardless of what, you know what I'm saying, your title, position, or what type of authority that you have, the people ain't gonna give a fuck in that damn day, man. All right? Like, uh, you had a famous uh, 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 um, economist, man. You had a famous economist uh, named um, uh, Cheryl Salente, and our L's apostles, you know, they always uh, mention him, Cheryl Salente. You know what I'm saying? He's a J. You know, he think, he think he's a... Uh, Italian, you know what I'm saying? You think he's Sicilian, you know what I'm saying? Which he is, but they're lying. We know the Sicilians, you know, goes back, majority of the Sicilians, they go back to the uh, Moors, man, which are Israelites, man, at the end of the day. But nevertheless, man, you know, I mentioned to him, you know what I'm saying? He has a famous quote that he loves to say, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he loves to say this right here. Like, when people lose it, they lose it at the end of the day. In essence, man, when you ain't got nothing notes, you know what I'm saying? And when you lose everything that you have, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, then, you know, desperate measures going to call. I mean, desperate measures going to call for desperate times. And you're going to be willing to do whatever in that day and that time, man. You have nothing to lose, man. You, you're going to be willing to, to risk it all, man, because you got nothing to lose at the end of the day. And that's the time we coming in. But, uh, for, you know what I'm saying? Without further ado, man, let me go and let this video right here play. All right. Go ahead. And it's like I say, nothing but a minute and um three seconds here. Now why why they don't want to put this in the news, man? Why Esau don't want to put this in your US news, man? Showing you what's really going on around the world, man. Giving you all that fluff news, man. They want to give you news on fucking Ja Morant. You know what I'm saying? His interview and, you know, how he feel coming back to the NBA and how he learned his listen, man. You know, he's not going to make his uh, masters angry or upset his masters anymore. He's going he gonna to be in line, man. Yeah, they're going to have that all over the news, man. You know, but they ain't going to put with the real news that's taking place on this earth, man. How Esau's seen even more. Esau get, <laughs> Esau's freaking out, man. He's seen even more. You know what I'm saying? So-called UFO sightings, man. <laughs> you know, this devil's getting afraid, man. It's Yahweh Shah making this... Boy, I'll tell you, Yahweh Shah just let, letting it be known, man. He's making his presence known, man. Yahweh Shah making his presence known in this place, man. All right? He's coming back very soon, man. But without further ado, man, let me let this video play here.
ça commence à me parler à la manif et on ne sait pas bien passer les choses. Like I said, man, it's only it's only gonna get it's only gonna get worse, man. It's only gonna get worse from here, man. All right, you know this light, right? It's really just the beginning stages, right? It's only gonna get worse, man. That's how you know, man. We, we we definitely in those times, man. You know what I'm saying? You know those end times, man. And when I say times, I'm end times. But y'all about your mouth, y'all about to come back and judge the world, man. And that's starting with Israel at the end of the date, man. All right, that's what it's all leading to. All right, but nonetheless, man, let's start with Second Ezra, uh, the ninth chapter. Let's read verses one on down to verse four. All right, this read Second Ezra nine and one. He answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, and that's going into all the future, um, all the end time prophecy, man. And that's how you measure the time diligently, man. That's how you know we coming into that time when you see Esau. You know what I'm saying? You seeing. Uh, inflation, hyperinflation. We know famine is coming. You know what I'm saying? We know when we see Esau talking about all this disinformation, this and this and misinformation, that. You know what I'm saying? We we, we know that this damn devil, you know what I'm saying, eventually, you know what I'm saying, you know, he's going to shut down this damn internet, man, in which in return, man, you know what I'm saying, you know, going to bring in that, that martial law where he's going to have them profits off the highways and byways. Eventually, it's going to be that uh, uh, famine of the word, man. All right. Pursuing back to uh, Amos. Uh, the eighth chapter, man. All right, you know what I'm saying. If I am no, ain't most the ninth chapter. If I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Let, matter of fact, let, let, let's get that. Let's get that, man. Let's get that. You know what I'm saying. I ain't trying to misquote anything. Let me just let's get that real quick. Make sure I got the. Uh, yeah, Amos uh, eight and eleven. Yeah, I was correct. All right, let's bring it out, man. Uh, I start at verse ten, man. Amos eight and ten, and I will turn your feast into mourning. And your and 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 all your songs into lamentation. Yeah, man. Cause over here in America, Jake loved to, to have a good time. And when with, with the good time, when it's come to partying, playing your music, drinking, bullshitting. You know what I'm saying? Jake loved to eat as well too, man. Have those feasts. You know what I'm saying as well too. You know what I'm saying? You know, ha, you know, put something on the grill. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you know, uh, what have you? You know what I'm saying? And it says, and I will bring. Oh, because, you know, a nigga, it don't, it don't have to be a, a so-called pagan-ass holiday for a nigga to put something on the grill, man. Nigga just throw something on the grill because it feel good outside, man. You know what I'm saying? Have they music playing in the background. Got they liquor, you know, got they drinking going on. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got some girly girls or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Invite some of them over, you dancing, giving them the marriage, all that madness or whatnot. Not even not even in tune with the prophecies and the end time prophecies of your how about your mouth shot, man. That's how the most high is gonna catch a lot of you niggas off guard. He's gonna catch you like a thief in the night. Verse 10. And I will turn your feast into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins and baldness upon every head. And I will make it as the morning of an only son and the end thereof as of a bitter day. Yeah, the most I say, I'm about to make your life a miserable hell, man. About to turn your life, about to turn your so-called, what you think is your fucking dreams, you know what I'm saying, in America, or making it in America, or you see yourself... I see myself in the next five years being this or being that. Man, the most I said, man, he, he said, I'm going to make it as the morning of an only son and the end thereof as a bitter day. So the most I said, your end going to be bad to the motherfucker, man. All right. You know how, you know how, you know what type of sad case you have to be when you, you know, when it says the morning of an only son, the most I bless you with only one child. And you know what I'm saying? And then come to find out, you know what I'm saying? You know, the most I bring judgment to where that child is deceased and the parents got to bury that child. You know, the type of mourning and the hurt and the heartache could be on those parents for have to bury, not not only burying a child, but burying your own child. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's the type of pain. That's the type of hurt. That's the type of anguish that Yahweh Bashim al is going to be bringing on this earth, man, upon wicked ass Israelites, man, that can't, that, 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 that won't repent and can't get right, man. All right. You know, that, that that's going to be your state of mind that you're going to be in, man. All right. And it says, and I will make it as the morning of an only son and the end of as a bitter day. Not a good day. You know what I'm saying? Oh, well, I had, it's a good day. You know, it ain't going to be like that song. Oh, it's a good day. Now, it ain't going to be no fucking good day. Most I'm going to F up your day. It's going to be the worst day of your life, man. 
All right, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, Yahweh Bashim Hawashah, thy power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Hawashah. Yeah, like you got Jake now, they take advantage. They, I mean, they don't take advantage. That, that's a problem. They, they don't take advantage of the prophets, man. Here, here it all starts with the elders, apostles, you know, a great millstone to the elder bishops on down. That's, man, we out there. Consistently and diligently like we're supposed to for all of Israel, but we only but we only concerned with the elect and we know two thirds ain't going to get it. But nonetheless, this word is still open to all of Israel at the end of the day. And we're going to do what we command to do. But nonetheless, we're going to do what we command to do by Yahweh, by Shemal Rashad. But 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 nonetheless, man, you know, what I'm saying, you know, Jake, you think Jake, Jake know where the prophets at? You know, we in every city, every state, every country, every island, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you're going to have the elect that's going to be scattered throughout the four corners, man. All right, going to be pushing the words, you know what I'm saying, and exalting the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, going to be giving that warning. So for Jake not to get it, not to hear it, you know, it's going to be a time the way, hey, man, the Lord going to say, Lord said, going to be a family of the word, man. All right, you know, and Jake, you know what I'm saying, once the prophets are taking off the highways and byways, man, that's when Jake going to want to consider, man, going to want to inquire, but then it's going to be too late because Jake, man, they, they always on CPT time, man. And then they don't realize that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man, he, you know what I'm saying, he got a certain time to where, you know, he's going to take the prophets off the highways and byways. He's going to bring he's going to bring judgment down. You know, nothing, nothing, nothing different than that didn't happen in other previous kingdoms, man, than with, with, with the prophets, man. But it was time to give warning. Then it was a time for Yahweh Shah to bring um, bring down judgment, man. That's how the most high. That's how the most high deals, man. He always give warning. You know what I'm saying? By the mouth of his prophets. The most High put his words in the mouth of his prophets. You know what I'm saying? To give warning from them, man. All right. And then it come the time where Yahweh Shema Shah about to bring that judgment down where he ain't going to be no more warning, man. All right. Straight judgment, man. No mercy. <laughs> you know, uh, repentance is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, far as mercy and grace, no door, no, the doors of mercy and grace going to be closed, man, from Yahweh Shema All right. Verse 12. And it says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord. Yahweh Shema Shah. And shall not find it, man. So the prophets gonna be up them highways and byways in that day and that time, man. So you're not gonna you're not gonna find the prophets in that day and that time for these simpletons out here, man. All right, you know why? Because they weren't measuring the time like they were supposed to, man. All right, going back to Second Edges nine and one, he answered me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before." Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time, which time we in, wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, man. Yeah, man. And like I said, man, that right there just part of it. You say when you see uproars, you know what I'm saying, of the people, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, this right here is one example of it. And we're not going to take the whole video. All right. You know, but, the, uh, you know, so you got the people over there in France. You know what I'm saying? The pension protesters, man, out there battling with the damn fucking police, out there protesting with the police, man. All right. And eventually it's going to be way more violent than this right here, man. All right. You know. They, 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 they see the writings on the damn walls at the end of the day, man. You seeing what? The uproars of the goddamn people, man. All right. You know what? What? <laughs> let's read. Well, let's, <coughs> excuse me. Let's read verse three again, man. Second Ezra is nine and three. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, man. So, so, so that's the time. That's the time we coming in, man. We coming in to some times, turbulence times, and worst times ever known to man, man, which is going to be judgment of Yahweh Bashim was shot. He's going to be bringing down on this earth, man. We're going to end with this right here, man. All right, second Ezra is 15, man, because you, you people, I can't wait to the day of the Lord. I can't wait to the day of the Lord. That's what you're going to say. What are you? <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? Look for the day of the Lord, man. You know what day going to be for you, man. Did the Lord gonna be darkness <laughs> full of grossness, man? For majority of you damn people, like the scriptures say, man, roughly paraphrasing. But uh nonetheless, man, let's get second Edges 15. We start at verse 14, man. All right. It says, Second Edges uh 15 and 14. It says, Woe to the world 
and them that dwell therein, man. Oh, and woe means destruction, man. All right, because that's what Most High is going to be bringing, man. Great, great death, man. All right, and he's going to start with the house of Israel. You so called Negroes, so called Latinos, so called Native Americans, man. You Hebrew Israelites, you, you, you damn rebellion, stiff neck Israelites that don't want to get right. You want to stay in the, in the Babylonian state of mind. You want to still. Uh, 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 practice, you know, and keep uh, otherwise, uh, you know, what I'm saying, keep the tradition of these of the beggar uh, of of these Babylon pagan holidays and customs, man. That's why you're gonna be freaking destroyed, man, because you ain't want to return back to your how about your mouth was shot. But nonetheless, man, it says for it says woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Right. It says for the for the sword and the destruction, draw of night and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands, man. Yeah. And the modern day sword is a gun, man. All right. You know, and eventually that's what people going to be doing. They're going to be losing it, man, especially when they feel like they have nothing else to lose, man. They done lost everything. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, hey, they're going to be very, very, you know, what I'm saying, um, you know, desperate out here, man. Willing. They're going to be willing to do things that they didn't even think that they would normally would even do. In a society where it's run so-called normal, man. All right. But hey, man, that's the time that we're gonna be in, man. All right. You know, most I gonna turn you niggas, he gonna take gonna turn you. Well, y'all already got animal instincts anyway, man. You're gonna y'all gonna really gonna be savages in that time, man. All right, once the most high box and close everything in, these cities be uh closed off. Hey, man, you, psh, man, y'all just wait and see, man. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. But it says. For the sword, verse 15, for the sword and their destruction draw of night, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and 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 swords in their hands. So yeah, man, you're gonna have uh social class wars, man. You're gonna have racial wars out here, man. Gonna be a lot, lot, lot of different fractions, you know what I'm saying, of, of wars that they're that gonna be taking place, you know what I'm saying, on these goddamn streets, man. A lot of judgment gonna be getting, gonna get bought out in these streets, man. And guess what? You ain't gonna have no 911, no damn fucking police to come to, to your rescue in that time, man. All right. Uh, verse 16. Why? Because people gonna be putting the police, <laughs> they go, the police gonna be getting put down in that day and that time, man. Like the scripture said, man, we're gonna further read here. It says, For there shall be sedition among men. And invading one another. Yeah, so you're going to have people, man, going up against their government, man. All right, the government officials, man. They don't give a damn about the government officials. They're not, like I say, man, you know, consequences and repercussions of that day and that time for your actions, people are not going to even care about, man. All right, you know, <laughs> it's going to be lawless out here. It's going to be anarchy out here, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's going to be survival of the fit, you know what I'm saying, in that day and that time, man. All right, it says, for there shall be sedition among men. And evading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the courses of their actions shall stand in their power. So, you know, if, you know, police talking about some freeze and stop in that day and that time. Nobody going, nobody going to listen to no police, man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody going to sit up there and, and listen to their instructions, man. They're going to be looking at, um, you know what I'm saying? They're going to be crashing out. <laughs> well, the young kids say they're going to crash out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, against the police, and against this government, man. And that's the time we coming in, man. We coming in the time of Jacob's trouble. We coming in some beautiful times, man. All right, you know? Hey, man, with that, I pray and I hope that that was edifying to the body, hopeful luck. And with that, I want to say shalom, shalom, hopeful luck, shalom.